Hey guys, today I'll show you a new thieving method using Master Farmers. Before I set off, I want to say something. Um, there was another guy called Lilador who had a, another video about this, uh, almost the same uh, same method, but uh, it's a bit more complex and it requires multiple people while miners can be done perfectly solo. Um, so yeah, let's check out what you need, right? Um, so the requirements are a 94 thieving and Ardoin hard diaries completed. Um, for items you can just use uh, your full uh, rogue, use your best DPS you can use in the available slots. That's not required, um, it's just a little tip you can use to kill an annoying farmer that walks around when he gets in your way. You can also see that I have a couple of seeds in my inventory. Uh, these seeds are not required to have in your inventory, but I use them to keep track of which seeds I'm going to keep from the master farmer while I'm thieving him. Um, it's just easier to keep track, but I'll also show you a way of how to actually choose which uh, seeds you want to pick up when you're dropping them from the master farmers. If you have all the stuff, you could get rates around uh, 1.5 to 2 million GP an hour and 100k XP an hour, which is pretty decent. Anywho, let's head over to where we will start this method. So you want to head out to the farmers north of Ardoin, uh, right over here. Um, yeah. When you get here, you'll see the master farmer walking around here. Um, I'll show you some things about the area first. So as you can see, I've marked some tiles on the ground here. Uh, these tiles are pretty important. Uh, they're the ones that can actually get the master farmer stuck and where you can just keep thieving him as easily as the RD Knights used to be. Uh, it still is that easy actually, but uh, the nerf made with the sacks and whatever. Um, so what you want to do now is you just want to keep thieving this guy um, till he moves in one of these spaces. Um, when he gets in one of these sp spaces, uh, he will be locked there and I'll show you how to lock him there uh, in a second. Uh, when he moves over to here, you can just go and stand right here and keep thieving him and he will just keep giving you seeds and he will just despawn in five minutes and he will just be here and you can even further. Uh, these two spots here, um, you can use this when there are multiple people here and one person can stand here and one here while the master farm is here and then uh, well, he can move so you can just keep thieving him of course. So I mentioned the way to sort out your seeds uh, if you didn't bring a few singular seeds. Uh, we just wait till your inventory is full. Um, it could happen any moment now. There we go, inventory is full. You just want to drop everything to the ground. Be sure you have your ground items on so you can see uh, what's all on the ground. And then you can see what the prices are and stuff. Things you should definitely pick up is stuff worth them more than 1k. So I have my stuff, my blue text on 1k. So I can see exactly what that is. I will pick up that stuff because um, you get a lot of it and that really counts up to like 100k per seed stack so that's quite a lot. So after a little while I got him stuck in here. Um, perfect. So what you want to do is when as soon as he walks in here um, he can stand on any of these spaces you want to go and stand right here in front of the door. Uh, standing here means you're actually blocking the door and he cannot move out, so he can only walk these spaces. He cannot walk in these spaces right here because, as you can see with how these boxes are aligned, his uh, walking distance, I should say, he uh, the border is right here. So he cannot move past these blocks. This is really nice. Um, so what you want to do right now is you just want to head in. Uh, you want to move your camera up. And then you can use this amazing plugin that uh, it's built into Runelight. It's called the camera zoom. You can use that to pull the camera entirely up and then zoom straight back in. Uh, you also maybe want to tag the NPC. I think pretty much every client can do that. Uh, it's called NPC indicators and then you can uh, go enable tag option and then you can shift right click or shift click and then you can tag him. And tag him. It's just easier to see him and do AF game of course. Then what the method is all about is of course you just start thieving him. Uh, you always have to click on and never click on the ground because if you click on the ground you can actually click on the same tile that he wants to walk on and that will make him just walk through you and he will just escape the door. Once you get in the corner you just stay here and keep thieving him. Um... Oh. Oh wait, hold on. So yes, as I was saying, 
um, the entire trick to this is you don't want to get him to despawn. He despawns after five minutes. So the way how you do that is uh, he needs to move around. As long as he is stuck here, he will despawn in five minutes. Uh, if he can move between these two blocks, that's perfect. So the thing is what you want to do is you just want to keep thieving him. Fill up your inventory. Your inventory will already be filled up from uh, thieving him outside, so you already have a little bit of seeds in your inventory. Uh, so just keep achieving and thieving away and then after a couple of pickpockets maybe a few more can you please give me a different kind of seed ah there we go um so when you get a last seed you want to take a step back <coughs> when you take a step back you get him to move because you will pull him out of there out of the corner and he will move around or whatever then you want to drop the seeds that you don't want to have in your inventory so these are worth nothing. I only keep the good seeds. And as soon as he, if you're, as soon as your inventory is empty, you can just uh, repeat thieving. Another way to circumvent that despawn timer is to uh, you, ju you are just thieving your stuff. You come here, you drop it. But what if your inventory is like almost empty? Yeah, you just uh, got in here, and the guy was already here and it was all perfect and nice. So the thing you can do then is you can just drop everything on the ground and start thieving him again. And as soon as you see that stuff despawn, that's just the moment you want to walk back, check your seeds, see what's good, drop the rest, and continue on with your quest. So a question you might be having is, uh, what do I do when I want to take a break? Because as soon as you log out, of course this guy goes completely free. Am I lagging? Oh, yes I was. Um, so what you just want to do is just step onto this square or this square, it doesn't really matter which one it is. Uh, as long as you can just move around, you can just stay here and just a little bit fight the AFK timer, just Wiggle the screen if, if you like need to get something from the door or take out the dishes or whatever the fuck. You can just uh, keep it like this and hope you don't lock out. So the thing I already said with this method is that it's so low. Um, and the thing is when there is a second person here, um, you can really easy fuck it all up. Something that happens to me like 90% of the time that somebody shows up, um, he will just start teething with me. It's uh, no problem. Uh, but the thing is, he will always leave before me because I'm here for hours and hours on end. And when he leaves, he runs out and for some reason the game just drags him with him out of here and everybody you see even here, including you, if it was only you, is just fucked and has to start over again. So the correct way how you need to leave. You walk one space back, the farmer should normally follow you. Um, you just wait till the farmer is back on this spot. And the other player is back on this one, so you have yourself here, other player here, farmer here, and then you can move away safely. That way the farmer won't uh, run after you and you will not ruin somebody's life. So yeah, I think that uh, wraps up the entire method. Um, I hope this method will help you a lot in your way to 99 thieving. Uh, also, a little fact, uh, I believe from 49 thieving to 99 thieving should be around... Uh, 175 mil so that's also a pretty nice cash stack for you uh so yeah see you guys bye